Welcome to GDs. And this is, The Cleaning Lady, Season 1. Season starts, with Thony, and her sister-in-law Fiona, cleaning after a party in Las Vegas. And as Thony works, she is harassed by the manager. Fiona defends her, resulting in the manager choking, but Thony, was able to save him, and we find out, that Thony used to be a surgeon in Manila. And she is staying illegally in the US, after her visa expired, and she is doing so, to get her son essential medical treatment. We also learn, that Fiona, also has no documents, and is an illegal. Although she came to the US many years back. Her son Chris, is unaware that he also has no US birth certificate, and he was born in the Philippines. Only her daughter Jazz, has all the proper documentation. Thony's son Luca, misses his dad Marco, and he was not able to come to US, as his visa was not approved. Thony, in order to support her family, was working at a fight club. Here we get our first look at Armin Morales, the right-hand man of an arms dealer Hayek, and he was there along with Hayek's son, to enjoy the fight. Armin, on seeing Thony, finds her intriguing. While Thony, overhears Theo, asking one of the girls fighting, to throw the fight, but she is not willing to do so, and Thony suggests to her, that she should do what she feels is right. And in the fight, instead of taking the fall, she ends up defeating her opponent. And as things settle down, Hayek's son, in a moment of rage, shoots and kills Theo. And Thony was a witness to this. She assures them, that they need not worry about her, and she is just a help, and she offers to clean the place spotless, in the most efficient way, leaving behind no evidence. Armin, already intrigued by her, gives her a chance to prove her worth. And Thony starts cleaning. Armin, is happy with her work, and he drops her home. Thony, knowing she is in way over her head, and not being able to find a bone marrow donor for Luca, decides to take him for an experimental trial, but not having proper visa status, Luca is denied the treatment. In addition, she was being followed by Armin's men, and they take her to meet with him. Armin, wants her to work for him as a cleaner, and he pays for her services, and makes it clear to her, that this is the only way for her to be safe. He also was able to get her son entry in the experimental treatment, and Thony, getting to know this was quite happy. Meanwhile Fiona, takes her to a party, and she informs her, that they can work here, instead of cleaning, and it's a much better pay, but they will have to push pills, but Thony is against it. And before they could discuss anything further, she is called by Armin. He likes seeing her dressed up, and Thony thanks him, for getting her son in the trial. And we learn, that Armin, could connect with her more, as her mom used to be a help, for the Barsamian family. Armin, takes her to a party, and wants her to clean it up. And we later find out, that it was Armin's house, and we also get to see his wife Nadia. With Theo's body being found, they need to clear his office, and Armin, asks Thony to wipe it all down. As Thony starts working, she keeps the gift, that Theo got for her daughter. Armin, transfers all the stuff from Theo's office to Hayek, and he learns from him, that the police will find nothing in Theo's office, and he lets him know that the cleaning lady is a liability, and he should have taken care of her. And Armin, getting to know this, knows that the building where Thony is, will blow up. And he rushes back to save her, and in the process he injures himself. Thony, being a doctor, helps him out. While Armin, assures her, that he will protect her, and treat her with respect. Thony, gives Theo's daughter, the gift he got for her, unaware, that the FBI was keeping an eye on his funeral, and now, Thony is also on the radar. Thony, is approached by FBI Special Agent Garrett Miller, and he questions her, about her being involved with Theo, and going to his funeral. Thony, lets him know, that she only works as a cleaner, and knows nothing more. Garrett, shows her photos of Armin, and his men, wanting to know if she has seen or knows anyone, but Thony denies knowing anyone. On the other hand, Armin, is getting ready to sell a shipment of guns, but he finds out, that some of the weapons are missing, and the buyers, finding it out, thinks that they are trying to cheat them. Armin, assures them, that it is not the case, and he just wants some time to sort it out. But in the heated exchange, shots were fired, and Matteo loses his life, before things calm down. Armin, calls Thony for cleaning, and lets her know, that he has sent all the staff away. Thony, is not sure if he can protect her, as he was not even able to protect Matteo. And as she finishes cleaning, she is rattled by a man who is still present there. We also get to look at Nadia, running a club, where they clean money for Hayek, and are bribing a councilman, to finalize an offer to buy a casino and a hotel. Meanwhile Garrett, confronts Fiona, as he wants to know more about Thony, 
and her work as a cleaner for Theo. Thony, returns back, and they tell them, that they don't know anything. And when Garrett's partner finds out, that he already met Thony, she warns him about his ways. And we learn, that Garrett is on thin ice with the Bureau, as he slept with one of her previous informants. In addition, we find, that Theo was an informant for him. Jazz informs Thony, that Luca is not doing well, and seeing him, Thony knows, that he needs immediate medical attention, and she decides to take him to a hospital, despite knowing the risk of deportation. But at the last moment, she takes him to Armin, and Armin, helps her out, by taking him to a doctor for their organization, which in turn saves him. And Thony, is very thankful to him. But this, resulted in the FBI knowing, that Thony lied to them, as they had been surveilling Armin. While Hayek, getting to know, that Armin, not only saved the cleaning lady, but also used their doctor to help her out, is quite angry. Though Armin, tried to defend her, but Hayek, was not interested in his explanations. Thony, was able to save herself, by informing them about the man who stayed back, and they find out, that indeed he was the one who was stealing from them, and this information saves Thony. And as she continues working for Armin, they started developing a bond. On the other hand, we find, that Agent Garrett, is under pressure to build the case. Thus, he approaches Thony at the hospital, and he pressures her, to become an informant for them, letting her know, that he knows she lied to him. He threatens her, as well as offers her protection. But Thony, refuses to work for him. Thony, also learns that her son, cannot start the treatment as of now, as his health has deteriorated, and he requires further tests. And she later finds that her son's liver is failing, and he will need a liver transplant. But in his present health condition, he cannot undergo a transplant. Back at the club, we learn, that Hayek's daughter Isabel, is about to be married, and Hayek tasks Armin, for making sure that she receives adequate gifts from everyone. Nadia, wants him to ask Hayek, to make them partners in the hotel business, as it is them who are doing all the groundwork. Armin, also learns from the councilman, that a colleague has been blackmailing him, as he found out about their arrangement. And Armin, asks him to bring him to the club. And in the club, he threatens him. Thony, witnessing this side of him is quite afraid. And she calls Agent Garrett, wanting to know how she can help, and she tells him about the donations Armin is seeking for Hayek's daughter. Garrett, wants her to get him the names of people who are donating. Thony, convinces Nadia, to take her as a help for the event, and she is able to get the list of those who donated. In addition, she also sees Isabel and Armin kissing, and we learn, that they were in a relationship years back, and Hayek, forced Isabel, to end things with him, as he was just a help. Thony, despite having the information, does not provide Garrett the same, and tells him, that she was not able to get it. She instead gives him a gift for his son, knowing, that he was going through a separation from his wife. Fiona confesses to his son, and informs him, that she doesn't have documents for him, and when they came to US, his father left them, knowing, he was not his son, as she had a one-night stand. Fiona, assures him, that she will hire a good lawyer, and get him legal status in the US. And in order to get the money, she decides to push pills for a night, and was successful in raising enough cash, to pay the lawyer, and to get the process started, for her son's citizenship. Fiona and Thony, go to the doctor, who was going to perform the bone marrow transplant on his son, before the donor backed out. And they want him to provide them with the donor's information, but he refuses. But Thony, in order to get the required information, breaks into his system. Having the information, they visit the donor, only to learn, that he never wanted to donate, and it was her daughter who listed him. And he won't be able to help them out. Armin, getting to know this, also tries to convince him, but he dismisses him, and Armin gets him abducted. On the other hand, Garrett, was able to figure out the councilman, who is being bribed, and knowing this, he forces Thony, to record the councilman, as he knows she lied to him. Thony, not seeing any other way, records his conversation. And this, gives Garrett enough evidence, to arrest him. And as he is arrested, he informs Armin, about a laptop in his hotel room, which has incriminating evidence against him. Armin, getting to know this, asks Thony, to get the laptop out, and she goes to his room. Garrett, also shows up, to search the room. But she was successful in getting the laptop out. Though in the process, she lost her locket, and Garrett finding it, knows, that Thony was there. In addition, before he could get any information from the councilman, he is killed in the prison. Thony returns back, and with Joe, still not willing to help, she decides to let him go. And as she was on her way to drop him, 
he connects with her on an emotional level, and agrees to donate his bone marrow, and in the process, Thony, helps him reconnect with his daughter. As Thony, continues her work along with the rest of the cleaning ladies, they are raided by ICE. And they take Thony, Fiona, and Gabby, to the detention center. And Thony learns, that it is Garrett who is responsible for this, and he informs her, that he knows she took something from the hotel room, and now, he wants her to record Armin on tape, confessing to his illegal activities. And only then, he will be able to help her out. Thony seeing no other way, agrees to do the needful. Meanwhile Hayek, informs Armin, that he is giving the hotel and casino business to his daughter, despite knowing, that Armin, wanted to be a part of it. Knowing this Nadia is quite upset, and tells Armin, that they will always remain a help. In addition, we also find, that Isabel, is unaware of her father's illegal activities. Thony tries to record Armin, but she is unable to do so, knowing how much he has done for his son, and she tells him everything. Armin, getting to know this, is quite angry, and wants her to leave. While Fiona, and Gabby, are being moved from the holding facility for deportation. Armin, tries to convince Hayek, to reconsider his position, but he dismisses him, and this makes him realize his value for him. Armin, in order to make moves, and also to help out Thony, wants her to feed information to the feds, and gives her the laptop she took, and he wants her to give it to feds, as he has scrubbed any information it had on him, while the remaining, will be enough for her, to get her friends free. Thony informs Garrett, that she was not able to get the recording, but got him the laptop, and will only help him out if he frees her friends. But by the time they got around to stop the deportation, it was too late, as Gabby was deported. But she was able to save Fiona. And Fiona, on finding out the truth about her involvement with the feds, and criminals, is quite upset with her, for hiding this from her for so long. Garrett, having the information from the laptop, arrests one of Hayek's associates. Isabel, goes to Armin, to know the truth, and Armin suggests, that she should talk with her father. Garrett, feels guilty about how his action caused Thony's friend to be deported, and he assures her, of getting her a visa, if she continues to help them. On the other hand, Luca's kidney was not improving, despite the bone marrow transplant, and he will need a new kidney. His father Marco, wants to come to see him, and ask Thony, to send him money, so he can bribe the officials. But Thony lets him know, that she doesn't have enough money. And we learn, that things between them were not good when she left Philippines. As Marco is a gambling addict, and he gambled away their savings, their car, and even their home. Thony, knowing she cannot get a donor for Luca through the legal means, asks for Armin's help, to get an introduction in the illegal organ market. And he gets her connected to one such organization. But the cost they were asking, was quite high. Thony, in order to cover the cost, agrees to perform organ removal surgeries on willing patients. Although she is not sure, if it's ethical. Fiona, lets her know, that after her first cut, there is no looking back. Meanwhile Armin, asks Thony, to provide Garrett with information about a few of the trucks, and she does the needful. Garrett, having the information, raids those trucks, as well as the warehouse, but he finds nothing. And he gets suspicious, that Thony might have fed her the wrong information, and he was able to confirm his doubts, when he looked at the traffic cameras, and noticed two trucks moving out of the warehouse four hours before the raid. And he was able to narrow down their location, but having only circumstantial evidence, he won't get a warrant. While Hayek, is happy with Armin, for being proactive, and removing the guns from the warehouse before the raid, thereby protecting them. Thony, goes to perform the organ removal surgeries, but when she finds that the first patient is just a kid, she is unable to go ahead with the procedure, thereby losing her chances of getting a kidney for her son. She is quite broken, and confides in Armin, and in that emotional moment, they kiss. But before things could escalate, Thony leaves. And as she returns home, she finds her husband was able to get a visa, and he is with Luca. Marco, wants to make things right between them. But Thony doesn't trust him. Thony, is worried, as she knows, that even if they have a willing donor, the surgery will cost a lot in the US. And Armin, getting to know this, lets her know, that he is planning something, and if things work out, he might be able to help her with the cost. And they were lucky, as the flyers they put out for a donation found a match, and she was willing to donate, and they agreed to pay her 20k. Thony informs Marco, that the man she has been working for, has agreed to help her out with the cost of the operation. Marco, getting to know this, is convinced, that if someone is willing to pay so much, must have other intentions. In addition, he is also not sure if Thony has been loyal to him. 
and he goes to confront Armin, and Thony, being there, is able to keep things under control. And when Thony returns home, she finds that the 20k she saved is gone. And we find, that Marco, is out gambling, and when he returns in the morning, Thony learns, that he lost all his earnings, but before losing, he kept 25k away. Fiona tries to defend her brother, and Thony informs her, how bad things were back home. On the other hand, Armin, tells Nadia, that he has taken a shipment of guns from Hayek, and he will be selling it, without his knowledge, and they will have 6 million dollars, to get out and start over. Nadia is happy knowing this, and she helps him out in closing the deal with the buyer Noha. Meanwhile Garrett, not getting a warrant, goes to investigate the locations he narrowed down, and being suspicious of one, he enters it, and finds a huge shipment of guns, and he also learns, that they are being sold. Garrett, knowing, that if the guns are moved, he won't be able to tie it to Armin or Hayek, and since he got the information trespassing, it won't hold in court, and thus, he needs time to build a case. And Garrett knowing, that Thony gave him wrong information, he uses her, to send information back. And he informs her, to keep an eye on Armin, and when he gets out in the evening, she should message him, as a gun deal will be going down with Noha. Armin, getting to know this, thinks, that they are being watched, and thus, he holds the deal for now. And with the deal being on hold, he doesn't have the money for Luca's surgery. And Thony, now knows that they will have to go to Mexico to get the surgery done. But once they cross the border, they won't be able to come back, as they don't have a legal status. Thony, being short of 15k for the operation, informs Armin, of her plan and asks him if he can help. Armin, getting to know this, thinks it will be a perfect cover for him also, as he can get the deal finalized in Mexico, as feds don't have jurisdiction there. And he assures Thony, that he will get her in and out of Mexico, without any troubles. With things finalized, they fly out to Mexico, and check in at a medical center. Thony and Armin, share a dance in the evening, and they kiss again. Back home, Garrett, not being able to get in touch with Thony, pings her phone, and is able to find that she is in Mexico. And in order to learn more, he informs Nadia, that her husband is in Mexico with the cleaning lady. But she gives him nothing and asks him to leave. While Hayek, also finds Armin missing, and is suspicious. Although Nadia tried to cover for him, but she was caught in her own lie. And she messages him, to return, telling him that Hayek knows. And Armin returns back, assuring Thony that he will come back for her. Thony, is informed by the doctors, that they need to push his son's surgery, but Thony knowing his son doesn't have time, forces their hand, and she performs the surgery on her own, with the help of other medical staff. And the operation is successful. As Armin reaches home, Nadia, was able to give him some breathing room, by accusing him of having an affair with Thony, and he agrees. After Hayek leaves, Nadia confronts Armin, and she is quite upset knowing he went to Mexico with Thony, although he tells her that he is not sleeping with her, Nadia knows, that he has a soft corner for her, and she asks him to leave. While Hayek, was able to find from one of Armin's men, that he went to Mexico in order to sell his guns. And as Armin was leaving, he gets a call from Thony and it stops him from entering his car, as it blows up, but he survives. And when he wakes up, he learns from Nadia, that he has been in and out of consciousness for the past week, and she got them off the grid, and through their phones. Armin, being better, calls Thony, and learns that the operation went well, and they are ready to move back. And he informs her, that he won't be able to get them back, and asks her to get in touch with one of his associates, as he will provide her with fake passports, and with one of the border agents under them, she will be able to cross easily. As Thony gets the papers prepared, she gets Dara's name mentioned as Luca's mother, as her being a US citizen, Luca's passport won't be scrutinized. Thony informs Fiona the same, while Marco, not knowing the entire story, is getting impatient, thinking that his wife is with Armin in Mexico. As they reach the border, the guard who was supposed to help them is taken off shift. Luca, was able to cross easily, but Thony is not allowed, and she returns back. She informs Fiona the same, and Marco, is getting more and more frustrated. Fiona, also learns from her son, that their lawyer has been scamming them, and they go to his office, and call him out in a meeting, and he agrees to refund all their money. While Thony, not knowing what to do, calls Garrett. Though he is angry at her, but getting to know that she went there for her son, he understands, and assures her, that he will try to get her back. He tries doing it the right way, but it will take time, so he goes to Mexico unofficially. He lets her know the same, but Thony, 
knowing that her son just went through a major surgery, and might need a doctor, wants to get back to him. And Garrett, tries to smuggle her, in the trunk. But they are caught at the border. And as they spend the night in the holding, they connect at some level. While Armin, knowing that Hayek knows, that he is still alive, won't stop looking for him. Thus he goes to see him, and informs him, that one of their rivals went after him, and he went to Mexico, to finalize a gun deal for six million dollars, and he didn't inform him before, as he wanted to get things lined up first. And it seems that Hayek believed him, but when they return back home, they find the body of his men, and Armin knows, that it's a message from Hayek, letting him know, that he knows the truth. At the border, Garrett's superior Catherine Russo, is able to get him out, but Thony, is arrested on various criminal charges. And Catherine, lets Garrett know, that all this, is his fault, and things are now out of her hands. While Luca, was able to make his way back with Dara. Catherine informs Thony, that now her only way out is to help them make a case, before the ATF takes the guns, and if not, she will not be deported, but prosecuted, and Agent Garrett, will be fired. And they allow her to leave for now. Thony, getting back, gets into an argument with Marco, as he wants to leave for Philippines, and Marco, is not happy knowing, that she is not willing to give up Armin, and thinks, that she is choosing to stay because of him. While Armin confronts Hayek, and confesses, and lets him know, that he was angry about the hotel, and that's why he went behind his back. In addition, he informs him, that the deal is final, but the buyer, will only deal with him, and he will get for him six million dollars, in exchange, he just wants to walk away with Nadia. And Hayek, finding it to be a good payday, agrees. Thony reaches the club, and Armin is happy seeing her. Thony informs him that the FBI and ATF are watching the guns, and he won't be able to move them, and Armin knows, that if he doesn't deliver, he will be dead. Thony seeing no way out, wants him to work with the FBI, to give up Hayek, and the buyer Noha. Though Armin is not sure, he agrees to sit down. Thony, tries to convince Garrett for the same, but he is not willing to allow Armin walk free, as he thinks he ordered the hit on his informant Theo. But Thony lets him know, that it was indeed Hayek's son who shot him, and it had nothing to do with him being an informant. And they finally have a sit down, and all of them come to an understanding. And Nadia helps Armin, to get the deal back on track. Armin also informs Isabel, of all the things her father is involved in, and lets her know, that she is a part of the business on paper, in everything. And seeing her afraid, he lets her know, that if the FBI ever caught up with her father, he has a way for her to protect herself. Armin, lets Thony know, that he doesn't trust the FBI, and thus he has a plan, and asks her to trust him. And on the day of the bust, the gun exchange is being monitored on the farms, while Garrett, along with his team are waiting in the hotel, where the money exchange will be happening. And they were all set up with the surveillance on the 36th floor, but Hayek, changes it at the last moment, and now they are heading to the 38th floor. We also see Thony, and Fiona, dressed as cleaning crew in the hotel, and Fiona, waits outside the suite, where the meeting is going on. Garrett, finding the meeting to be going on in a different suite, with no surveillance, decides to move in for the arrest. And as the guns move out of the compound, they toast for a successful deal. But the guns are busted, and Nova getting to know this, tries to shoot Hayek, but Armin saves him, and the FBI raids the suite and arrests everyone. But they find no money, while Armin, drops a pen drive on the cleaning cart. Thony and Fiona, get out from the hotel with the pen drive, and it has six million dollars on it. On the other hand, with no money being found, and no surveillance of the meeting, Garrett feels disheartened, knowing that everyone will walk free. It is when Isabel shows up, and agrees to provide them with books, implicating her father, but only if she is protected. And we learn, that this is what Armin planned all along. Armin tells Hayek, that he thinks Nova was the rat, and he will have his back in the prison. Hayek, lets him know, that his lawyers will be able to get him out, and he wants him to run things, as he won't be able to get out, since his daughter turned on him. And Hayek trusting him, gives him the code to access the money. And Armin was able to pass this information to Thony. Thony, accesses the same, and gives an envelope to Nadia, and she is not happy with the influence Thony is having, and Nadia lets Thony know, that she still works for her. Thony shows Fiona an office, and tells her, that this will be their office now, and they will start their own company, and can hire anyone. In addition, they will also be cleaning Armin's money, and she will also run a clinic in the back, to help out illegals like them. And she tells her, that she is not leaving, and Fiona is happy knowing this. 
And as the season ends, Thony learns that Marco is gone, and he has taken Luca with him. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, please subscribe.